Well, what happens after you finish your breast cancer treatment? This morning, Dr. Lisa Curcio joins us to take a look at life after the treatments are over. We want to thank you so much for joining us. And, you know, it's been no secret that I've had my own battle with breast cancer. It was a year ago in October. And when you were here before, I was talking a little bit about the complaints because so many of us don't realize when someone's diagnosed with breast cancer, they go through treatment most likely surgery and then either radiation or chemotherapy, but I didn't realize what happens after that. And for me personally, and I think for many other women that I've talked to, you start taking medications and those medications have a lot of side effects. I mean, from the fatigue, the joint pain, the weight gain. And now for me, at least, I'm supposed to be taking these medications for 10 years. So a lot of us wonder, do we really have to take it for 10 years? And are these side effects going to be there the entire 10 years? What advice do you give your patients? Well, first of all, I think it's a good problem to have that we're starting to look at the quality of life of mm -hmm. patients after breast cancer mm -hmm. treatment. For many years, several decades ago, we just wanted them to survive. We weren't mm -hmm. really so focused in on what was the quality of their life. Mm -hmm. So quality of life is a huge issue, and we really do have to tailor the treatment to the patient. I mean, mm -hmm. if we're making the quality of life so much worse than it was prior to mm -hmm. breast cancer, what have we really done? Mm -hmm. So um, we do have to individualize. For instance, with endocrine therapy, which is a pill that some women take mm -hmm. for five years, some women take for 10 years, mm -hmm. there are tests now that we can do, and what we do is we go back and look at the tumor and the genes that your tumor express mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to see will you benefit from years five through ten or do you only need to take it for five years mm -hmm. so not everyone needs the extended ten years of treatment and we can really individualize based on your tumor mm -hmm. and so many women are, are uh, given tamoxifen after and so that's just almost like the standard but there are many other options for us to take, correct? It's correct. Tamoxifen has been around for many, many years mm -hmm. and is a great drug. Surprisingly, um, tamoxifen actually does better side effect profiles than some of the other drugs. Mm -hmm. When you look at some of the other medications, which are called aromatase inhibitors, mm -hmm. their side effects are so much more severe mm -hmm. than the tamoxifen. But it's individual. We have patients that don't tolerate tamoxifen and do fine on the aromatase inhibitors. Mm -hmm. So I, I I always uh, liken it to a perfume. Someone wears a perfume mm -hmm. and it smells great on them. You put it on and it smells like a skunk sprayed you. <laughs> it's, it's very individual based on the patient's chemistry. Mm -hmm. And when a woman comes to you and says, look, I just want my old life back. I've been through, you know, all of this. Now what? How can I make changes to get back to being the old me? What advice? Well, you know, I, I think that there are always going to be changes from breast cancer. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, if nothing else, it changes our perspective of life and mm -hmm. helps us to prioritize things. I think that there are things that we can do to mitigate some of these side mm -hmm. effects. For instance, um, hot flashes. We can do things like acupuncture. There are some herbs now that are available, natural supplements that actually can help with some of the hot flashes symptoms. And what we want to do is um, help the breast cancer survivors, which there are many of them nowadays. Mm -hmm. Thank God. And we want them to have a good quality of life and prevent future events. So focusing on um, expending their energy on getting to a healthy body weight and exercising regular and eating a healthy diet, all of those things that will prevent this breast cancer from coming back and other cancer events in the future. Mm -hmm. And the key is make sure you keep asking your doctor because one Absolutely. thing doesn't fix all. Exactly. All right. Exactly. Thank you so much, Doctor. We certainly appreciate it. And for more about BreastLink, just go to our website, kcal9.com, and click Seen on TV. We'll be right back.